Indiana and sharing their talents and hobbies. And this morning you'll get to meet a man who definitely has a special gift. He can come up with a poem in just a matter of seconds. Good morning, everybody. We are in Broad Ripple this morning, and you know, one of the neat things about doing this kind of show for over 25 years is the opportunity to meet really, really interesting people. That's going to be you. Just hold on until I finish thank my thank spiel thank here. You. Okay. <laughs> really interesting people. I was in Lapel, Indiana several weeks ago. I met this gentleman, Blair Karsh. We were talking. Mm -hmm. He was talking to me about some of the commitments he has in his life to kids, to young people, to teaching. And you told me about an ability that you have. When you first said it, I didn't believe it. Tell us what that ability is. About 20 years ago, I picked up journals and I started writing. And that's where it all started. A few things changed in my life. And they call what I do poetry, but it's to me it sort of transcends a word. And, it, and, and, and I'm able to put together uh, lyrical words yeah. about that rhyme. anything that rhyme yeah. and I love social and cultural things I love things that matter and through the history and the ages of poetry some of the masters have taken some of the most complex things and for lack of better words dumbed it down to simple messages that inspire people okay so if we were to pick somebody at random which is by the way what we're going to literally do in the next four segments and we're in a shop right now we're going to ask a woman now she could give you a word and you could extend it to, to, to a metaphor for something yes or it could be the whole idea itself but yeah and i can take directions i often go you want it pg or pg you want it optimistic or pessimistic okay. so I, I i love getting direction okay. from we don't the, want, we don't want extra thank you thank you, thank you. Well, let's let's go with the g okay all right now we're in a store now okay and then we're going to go do several stores in broad ripple this morning and this is hi good morning What's your name? Diane. Diane, I want you to say hi to Blair. Hi, how are you? What's, What's the name of your store? Let's give a little publicity. It's called, it's called The Bungalow. The Bungalow. Oh, and uh, a boutique, jewelry? And yes, it's a boutique. It's gifts and art. Okay. I want you to give Blair a word or a concept, and he's going to make up a poem for you. Okay. So what I'm going to give you is our logo, which is a polka-dotted chair. In the oh, my <laughs> Polka dot and share. Yeah, so I'm going to go with polka dots. Polka dots. Polka dots speak of glamour because they speak of your face. They speak of the bungalow and the dreams that we chase. They speak of broad ripple, a polka dot smile. A polka dot <laughs> chair will make this young lady smile. Consumerism and dollars and broad ripple and cash. You sit in this polka dot chair and you'll get very happy very fast because you live with such posture and you work with such grace. It's a polka dot chair to put a smile on your face. Wow. So That's your new logo. Okay. Yeah. You, 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 come sit, you, you come sit in this chair and you will be happy. This man, for the rest of this program, you've got to TiVo this this morning. He's going to make up poems all morning long on the spot. You do not want to miss the rest of the program this morning. We'll be back.